my god hello youtube welcome back this is a developer note volume 12 season one invasion update announcement so apparently they go over a couple of things i haven't seen it chat so this is my first time reading it along with you or listening to it on youtube if you are a listener um an audio listener greetings descendants this is the director of the first descendant min seok yu um, uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Anyan, Anyan, Asayo. In this dev note, I would like to share a preview of the Season 1 update. Please check the major update details along with the weekly update content schedule for Season 1. Just when you thought Carol's Legion had retreated, they're coming back with more powerful tactic w tactical weapons. The first Ascendant Season 1 update, inv Invasion, features a new episode along with the Invasion events. New Descendant Haley, Ultimate Freyna, Ultimate Weapons, and new Intercept the Battle Death Stalker, and a season-exclusive progression system called Inversion Reinforcement. Season 1 Invasion will be released throughout three updates starting August 29th offering a variety of content with new challenges and rewards no 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 let me stop this chat because apparently there's been a couple of upsetting spaghettis in my chat this morning saying oh my god they're doing three updates for season one i don't know how new you are to this game but they kind of have been announcing this like for months now <laughs> that they were going to release season one and three updates this is not new information they literally talked about giving you a season one update one season one update two and season one update three this has always been talked about and i'm sorry if i sound weird this morning i just woke up sorry sorry let me get my um my little motor going here Let's see, chat. The first descendant is planning to provide seasonal updates, and invasion is the first step in, of this journey. We'll explore the secrets of the descendants and unravel the story of Ingress as we journey through the seasons. You will discover new weapons, and new descendants will join the war, and the descendants will become more powerful. Of course, the seasons will progress in a way that preserves the progression of your descendants and your co uh, collectibles. Okay, so we're now going to lose everything? That's kind of nice, right? Because, I mean, I was still skeptical. Um, skeptical? Skeptical? I don't know how to say that word. On the season and how well that's going to work, but the, I guess this is confirmation. The seasons will progress in a way that preserves the progression of your descendants and your collectibles. So you you won't need to start a new descendant. You'll continuously pr uh, progress with the descendant that you currently have. Carol has prepared a new tactical weapon for revenge. This tactical weapon forged from ancestors, technology discovered by Am Amon, uh, Asmin is a Volgus Legion new strategy against the Descendants. When invasion season begins, the invasion event will occur daily in two of the hard infiltration operation dungeons. In the dungeon where the invasion has begun, you can start by selecting either infiltration operation or invasion and the invasion event can be cleared twice per day for each dungeon okay so it's like a daily mm, i don't really like dailies but let's continue reading and the invasion event can be cleared twice per day for each dungeon yeah i don't really like uh that there's a limit but I'm gonna let them cook, okay? Uh, you guys know already I don't like stuff that is locked. If I wanted to run something over and over. But maybe the, the, the dungeons are not even that great. So I don't even care. Um, I, I, I want to know more about it. I don't want to. I don't want it to be like, oh, I need to log in uh, tomorrow and the day after and the day after to complete my stuff. I don't want that to be the approach. Invasion dungeons will put your skills and wits to the test to hold back the descendants. Carol has built a defense system with different mechanics. Why are we calling her Carol? For each legion. New descendant, Haley Scott, 
Once a guerrilla unit supply soldier who gained fame as a legendary sniper, Haley is now the newest member of the Descendants Corps. Oh, let's take a look at some of her skills, chat. Okay, so she's so she doesn't even lift her gun to shoot. They just fall. <laughs> it kind of looks like that, right? Just looks like they're just falling. Like she's shooting her lasers or something. Cryo round instantly fires a cryo round and automatically tracks the enemies, deals damage, inflicts cryo, and deals additional damage. Okay. Storm snare. Bam! Fires a freezing beam that unleashes a chill vortex around you and knocks back enemies. Inflicts cryo on enemies that take damage. Bam! Cold fury. Haley's movement speed gradually decreases, um, but her firearm is skill critical hit rate and firearm penetration increase significantly. Oh, um, come on, firearm. Oh, my lord, what'd she do with that leg? She did a little swoop. Swoop. Oh, my lord. Zenith replaces Haley's weapon with her ultimate weapon, anti-material sniper cannon. Penetration. Wait, penetration. Of the anti-material sniper cannon and firearm attack greatly increases and deals additional chill skill damage, recovers MP upon successfully attacking weak points, and decreases the cooldown the more bullets you have remaining. Invasion reinforcement for season progression. Uh, descendants experience a change in their arch uh, as they come into contact with iron hearts multiple times. Um, Hunt improves descendants basic stats attribute um, attribute resistance recovery improves descendants recovery Okay You automatically acquire that lines collection effect when you unlocked all four of the effects in the line You automatically acquire the lines collection effect collection effects are passively effects uh, passive effects that are at always applied during season. This means that if you unlock all inversion reinforcement effects, you can utilize three selected effects and five collection effects from each line in battle. Ultimate Freyna, the new ultimate weapon chat. Wow. Okay, I, I, I'm not mad at the way it looks. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm not going to read too much on what these weapons do, chat, but um, I will be linking this down on YouTube on the description, so if you guys want to see it on your own, it'll be down there, okay? Highest difficulty, infiltration operation, and Ida, oh, and season one, the highest difficulty of infiltration operations will be added. It's a proving ground to test and polish your optimized build for a team or challenge yourself to more difficult infiltration operations and public matchmaking. Prove the strength of the descendants and acquire loot that can only be obtained in more difficult operations. We're going to get all even harder. Infiltration operation. Oh, Okay, I like that. I like that chat. I like that even harder bosses. Oh my god. Don't worry chat if you were having a problem. I'm sure me and the chat can help you through it. So don't forget to stop by my stream on my Twitch and ask for a little help if you need a little help. Yeah, along with this a mysterious merchant Etta O visits Albion Every time he visits, he shows up with a variety of products that can be purchased with exclusive currency. With each visit, he brings different products. Since he visits Albion with blueprints for first descendants and ultimate weapons and occasional hard-to-find consumables, don't miss out on visiting Eta O. Ooh, chat! Ooh, all contents will be available. Um, sequentially during invasion season. Ah, blind mode. Um, August 29th is the first update. September 26th is the second update. And October 30th is the third update. So new Desane and Haley and skins come out, chat. Whoa, chat. 
Ultimate Freyna all the way in October 30th. I don't know, Chad. That's going to be a little mad. That people are going to be a little mad for that one. Uh-oh. A little mad. Um, people are going to be a little mad about um, Freyna coming out on October 30th. Yeah. Uh, la, 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 I like it. I mean, I don't mind it. Honestly, I don't mind it. However, though, I think, um, I think they should have left her out of any trailer or left her out, uh, left her out of like the conversations until it's closer to release date though. You know what I mean? I... I'm, I'm not mad that they're doing this release cadence. That is completely fine. And it's something that I totally expected for them to have three updates. However, though, where, where we are talking about, I, I, I don't know, like I feel a little bit weird that they sh are, were showing off Freyna uh, a lot during their season one um, trailer. That it, uh, I think a lot of people will be disappointed. To me, I'm okay with it. But... I could totally see they've gone better about this by leaving Freyna out of the trailers and stuff until later. But you know what? It is what it is. Yeah. Um. So Haley comes out. Um, new Haley and Haley skins. Invasion dungeon. Inversion reinforcement. Invasion season battle pass. And ultimate weapon. Okay. Okay, that's what we're getting in a couple of days. Okay, okay. Not bad. September 26th, which honestly will probably go by really quick. So, because we're going to be so interested in season one stuff, that September 26th is going to come by so quick. This might as well be September 1st. August 29th might as well be September, 20, um, September 1st. And then um, the 26th comes out i don't think it's too long of a wait i think we'll be interested still in figuring out Haley and um uh, playing with all the new skins and stuff new intercept a battle death stalker um i wish they would have added that stalker to on uh, the august 29th patch but you know it's okay um new ultimate skins and ultimate descendant exclusive spawn effects oh chat new ultimate skins you know what this means right this is the the ultimate skins is the leveling up skin that bunny has right now the only ultimate skin in the game is the bunny one so i guess to have a new one's coming and it's plural so we're gonna get multiple ultimate skins that's kind of nice so more of those like kill like uh 200 000 monsters and evolve this skin um, ultimate descending exclusive spawn effects. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not mad at uh, update two. Seems a little smaller. Ultimate frame exclusive. Ultimate frame mo modification modules. Haley modification modification modules. New ultimate modules. Uh, uh, high difficulty infiltration system. Well, what, what does this mean? New uh, ha Haley modification modules. So Haley is going to be released without any special mods? That's that's really weird. Yeah, unless she releases with two and then comes out with two later. Yeah, we'll see how this plays out. Wait, did they mention any merchant vendor? Yes, Eda or Eda Zero is the merchant. The new merchant. Alongside with this, a mysterious merchant to Eda Zero with Visit to Albion. Every time he visits, he shows up with a variety of products that can be purchased with exclusive currency. With each visit, he brings different products since he visits Albion with blueprints for first for descendants and ultimate weapons and occasional hard to find consumable. Don't miss out on visiting Eda. Let's see. Void Fragment and Fusion Reactor Loop Improvements chat. This is a long patch note. It has been improved so that plain Void Fragments, once on hard difficulty, now grants enough Void Shards to use the Fusion Reactor once. <laughs> Thank you. That should have been there from the very beginning. Consequential, uh, 
Recently, the amount of void shards awarded in special operations has also been increased. Additionally, void shards required for fusion reactors have been con consolidated into a single type. Now, the same type of void shards will drop from both void fragments and fusion reactors. Um, okay, that's a good change. Finally, the fusion reactor now requires void shards when using the reconstructed device rather than at the start of the mission. As previously announced, random options will be replaced with preset selections. The preset offers three options, 0, 125, and 250. And descendants who choose the same preset can play together in public matchmaking. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I think that's a very great change. Yeah. In addition, to prevent the number of types of matchmaking pool from gr um, growing uh, indiscriminate, I can't say that word, descendants who select the same infiltration operation will now be matched together, regardless of their selected rewards. Instead, the global effect that were applied based on the selected rewards will be removed. Lastly, the time occupation mission will be removed from hard infiltration operations and replaced with the extermination battle, where the time can be reduced based on the descendant skill. Socket type saving feature improvements. Oh, okay. Now, once you assign a socket type, the socket type granted to the slot is permanently saved. So you can easily change it to the previously granted socket type at any time. For example, if a descendant changes uh, adamantine socket to um, malachite socket, you can easily choose between adamantine and socket afterwards. Oh my God, this is huge, actually. Uh, I still think th there could be some issues there, but I I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Overall, it's really good. A well chat? I hope you guys are ready to reset your descendants like a hundred times. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's pretty cool. I guess that, that we have that option, but it's very punishing. You know, what would have been really nice is that the first time you unlocked a socket it becomes changeable whenever you want nothing else you don't need an additional anything you don't need additional this you don't need once you unlock it you did your due diligence you can just change it but no they they went a little bit um a different route with that but you know what chat i'm not gonna complain i'm not gonna complain at least I get to experiment a little bit more. Uh, let's see, chat. At least there's a little bit of um, a compromise. Jaber's turrets have been improved to apply stats such as skill power modifier and additional attack and will be able to be enhanced by descendant modules. Additionally, Jaber's turrets sync. Skill has been adjusted to apply the turret Jaber has summoned. And if turret engineer, engineering modification module is equipped, the summoning turret has been improved to create an area. We're getting Jaber buffs and Blair buffs? Blair's pit master skill has been improved to have more enhanced effect based on the number of flame zones. The flame zone. Okay, sorry. The duration of the blaze up skill has been increased and the MP cost has been reduced. When using an extinguished skill, the flame zone will no longer be retrieved. Instead, taste of aggression effect will uh, stack based on the number of flame zones. Okay, Chad Ajax. Okay, my men are getting buffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellie, or maybe get another craft that requires four catalysts to craft, like a, a super catalyst that unlocks all at once. Uh huh. For sure, something that cuts down the time of re leveling and stuff because, yeah, I mean, having to do bunny caves over and over and over doesn't seem like a lot of variety there. Um, Ajax. 
um, is getting a little juice. Orbital barrier and hypercube scales are now affected by attribute resistance, making them stronger. The body enhancement modification module increases HP, defense, shield, and when using these skills, void energy will always recover to 100%, allowing the, to use enhanced skills more often. Additionally, the void charge modification module will allow you to void walk skill to be a stacked at the void walk and explo expulsion skills have been modified increased damage based on defense okay ajax getting love i don't know those those ajax buffs these ajax buffs seem very strong is ajax my new main various ux improvements yeah um first um a feature to designate random options have been added to the external components junk filter and reactor this allows you to conveniently designate items that don't have the needed random options as junk Ooh, chad Ooh, that's kind of nice nice the shapes display to show your preferred item attachments can now be designed designated using a variety of shapes enabling you to manage them with different shapes according to their uses a favorites feature has been added to the research menu and because information of the applied item will now be shown on the map oh other updates include additional improvements to the icon information this is nice chat this is really nice. You can now favor stuff on the research and when you open your map, it will show where those things are on the map. That's actually pretty big. Five minute trailer from um, Gamescom. Wait, what is this chat? Let's take a look at this. What is this? New trail, is this a new trailer? Okay, let's watch. Oh. The first descendant. We managed to fend off our enemy's large scale attack, but the war is far from over. The war the is Colossus far from over, chat. Us, and our enemies are plotting new strategies. Can Ingress ever find true peace? Has Corel really given up on the war? Oh, it's Corel. I was Corel's reading a Carol chat. The Volus began moving from deep within the dungeon to raid the ancestors' facilities in Ingress and reclaim the outpost. Detecting this, Ingress immediately dispatched a scout. That scout's name is Haley. Oh, she's so pretty, Chad. Look at her face. From a supply soldier. Oh my God. Ingress and reclaim the outpost. Detecting this, Ingress immediately dispatched a scout. That scout's name is Haley. Oh my God. She kind of gave me Caitlyn Jenner vibes, who though. Who from a supply soldier in the guerrilla unit to a legendary sniper is now a new in the Descendant Corps. Ruthlessly eliminating enemies with her anti-material sniper rifle. She dominates battles with her ability Ooh. to drop her body temperature. Come on, chillin'. When her emotions run high. When shooting from a distance, her weapon's critical hit multiplier increases, making her an excellent fit for sniper rifles. She possesses sub-zero bullets that fire multiple shots in an instant and a storm snare that pushes back and rapidly cools down enemies in front. God, this gun is fucking awful. Holy shit, this is awful. Talk about how fucking slow it is to pull out a fucking Gatling bitch ass gun while mobs are swarming your ass. What the hell is this slow ass shit? Her an excellent fit for sniper rifles. The little bullets shooting from the little shoulder thing, that's nice for mobbing, but holy, that gun is so slow. She possesses sub-zero bullets that fire multiple shots in an instant, and a storm Just look at that this. pushes back and rapidly cools down enemies in front. I mean, it'd be a good for a one-off shot versus a Colossus, maybe? Haley's specialty is switching to her anti-material sniper rifle and firing a single incredibly powerful shot, stronger than any other attack. In season one, the Vulgus launches a new strategy, the invasion. Invasions occur Ooh, randomly chat. in two dungeons of the hard difficulty infiltration operations. 
Okay. Players can choose to enter between the existing operations or the invasions. Invasion dungeons are only available for solo play, testing the strength of the descendants. Wait. Three bogus legions will block. Invasion is only available for solo play. Say what? The descendants with different defense mechanisms. The quantum field creates an immortal state impervious to physical attacks. The resonant shatterers cause massive explosions with the energies of RK and the Iron Heart. The Keeper Tile encryption device maintains a powerful security system. Invasion dungeons present new mechanics that disrupt the descendants' operations. Solve these enemies' mechanisms and swiftly eliminate them. Invasion dungeons are designed for speed runs, and the faster you clear them, the greater the rewards that await. Okay. After coming in contact, I'm with a the little Iron Heart, skeptical. Descendants experience an RK resonance phenomenon. This resonance grants the descendants new powers. It's the season growth inversion reinforcement. Inversion reinforcement is a new growth system that resets Ooh. at the start of each season. It includes five types: hunting, attributes, okay. recovery. So this is what I mean by them. Okay, so Chad, apparently this is their season mechanic, right? So by doing this, you get to Inversion. get a new stat boost for your descendants. This doesn't mean that once season one ends, that they can't re-implement this as a core function of the game. They could still leave this sort of mechanic in. This is what uh, this is the moment where I feel that developers during um, live service games and seasonal stuff where they can incorporate some of their stuff that was successful during season one and add it to the game in some other way. This is an example of what they can implement later once the season one is done. They could still keep the system. Reinforcement if it's something that's system. good. I don't see why not. At the start of each season, it includes five types: hunting, attributes, recovery, survival, and seasons. Through the inversion reinforcement, descendants gain beneficial effects for progressing through seasonal content, and can also obtain effects that compensate for their weakness. Each season, we plan to tailor and replace the inversion reinforcement effects, providing effects that perfectly fit the seasonal content. In ultimate Freyna. Oh a my! Ultimate descendant will be introduced in season one. Sheesh. Ultimate Freyna, who has evolved RK's toxicity into a more powerful weapon, will make her debut. In season one, you can discover Freyna's exclusive story and uncover the tale behind the name of her skill, Room Zero Trauma. Excava is an assault rifle with powerful versatility. It can be obtained Excava. through the battle pass and is also available as a free reward. Excava charges voltage when attacking enemies and has a unique effect of firing the charged voltage as an energy grenade. Okay, so a, a mobbing gun that combines the inherent versatility of an assault rifle and with an extra shot. mobbing gun. Frost Watcher is a right? rifle that can be farmed through the season one content. When hitting enemies from long range, it reduces chill resistance and enhances the damage of one's chill skills making it a perfect fit for Viesa and Not Haley. bad, that mob, mobbing gun. And that chilling gun does not seem too bad. Ultimate weapon and inversion growth. It is now time to face the most powerful colossus, Death Stalker. Okay! Death Stalker lurks in the darkness of the void, targeting the life of descendants. It is stronger than any colossus encountered so far. To protect Albion from the threat of Death Stalker... That is actually a new encounter, chat. It's not Hangman or anything. And intercept that's, that's a new encounter. That's not a previous um, copy. It's new. Talker. The first descendant's first season begins on August 29th with Haley, a new descendant, Ultimate Freyna, and the new Ultimate Weapons. Chad, did you guys see her burger? Ultimate Freyna. Chad. What the hell? This bitch has testicles. <laughs> Burger! And the new ultimate weapons. New episodes, dungeon content, and void intercept battles await you in Albion, Descendants. The first Descendant, Season 1 Invasion. Oh, that was really nice! Hey, YouTube! Yeah, you... YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. 
viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit the comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.